Okay gamers, I wanted to show you a little bit of these rules here, when, especially when you get a lot of skills and, and you're in the middle of battle. So I'm in um, starting a fight at Ravenswood with four wolves. And I have an oak bow, I've got some defense, and I've got quick strike and stun. I've got all these skills here that I can use. So I'm going to run through this battle to show you how you use those and how many you can use in a turn and all of that. And it's, it's pretty straightforward. So it's a wolf's turn. He's going to go ahead and roll. He rolls a 10. I have 6 on my defense and I already have 9 here so I block that easily. So now it's my turn. I'm going to use my bow. And a bow, I use it one time on one target, on any of the targets along here, because it's a ranged ability. Since he's already gone, I'm going to hit him with my oak bow, which is three. I can also add my marksman skill, which gives me two more. And my adrenaline gives me four more hits, because I have three or less stamina. So I'm going to add four more to that, which gives this wolf nine hits. Now notice I used all of these hit skills on my one target. I cannot split these up on the targets. Once I use my bow, I have to use those skills against that one target. However, with these other skills, they are completely separate. So with stun, I'm actually going to use my stun on this next wolf, which takes him completely out of this round. He can still hit me, but he can only hit me with three dice since I took him down to nine, and he does not have an increased threat die to use. I can also use quick strike if I wanted to. So I'm going to save that for later. So now this wolf, now I'm done with my turn. I've used my bow and I've used my uh, skills that allow me to add hit points to that one target. And then I've used another skill which is a, a defense. So basically I've used a shield to hit another target and stun him. And if I wanted to, I can, I could have used Quick Strike to hit a, any new target that I would want. 